This is Linda Lee with Ask Me PC, uh, helping you navigate the web. If you have any WordPress website needs or WordPress training or anything online, that's what we're here for. All right, today we are discussing how to block websites in Google when you're doing a search. Lock or exclude websites. The first thing you're going to need to do is download Chrome. Now, the reason is Google used to have a thing where you could log in and drop uh, web addresses in and they block them. That doesn't work anymore. They do not support that method and this is what they're doing now. So you're going to need to download Chrome if you're using Explorer, Firefox, or Safari. Everybody should have two browsers on their computer. Things work differently in each browser. Maybe you'll try to log on to your bank and it won't work and you'll open your second browser and it will work. Pretty much, I recommend all my clients to have at least two browsers on your computer. They do not conflict. They do not affect each other. A browser is just like putting on a pair of glasses. That's all they are. It's a way to view the internet. So uh, go and download Chrome. It'll just take you a minute. And once you've got that installed, you're going to open up your window. And over here in the far right corner, you're going to see these little three lines. Click over there and then go on down to Settings. And by the way, right here is where you can set your home page and everything. And then you're going to go over here to Extensions. Now, I already have some extensions in here. You probably won't have any. So what should pop up for you, and in my case I have to scroll down, is Get More Extensions. Now that takes you over to the Chrome Web Store, where we're going to get this extension. And those of you that have smartphones will recognize all the many choices for apps and fun things you can add to your browser. It's really great but for today we're going to be adding personal blacklist and this is an extension that is actually by Google and it's so easy to install things for Chrome you just click add to Chrome say yes it is safe and uh, we are installed there we go we're just gonna click the little icon it's the hand over here and next let's go and do a search all right, so how to fix a washing machine. Let's go do that, see what we get. All right, so we get how stuff works, and you know that frequently can be good. Sometimes they have not great results, but I don't see any real spammy. Ah, here we go, laundryabout.com. Okay, I personally do not like about.com at all. So one of the things I can do here is notice what we've now got, block. See this great little hot link block? I'm going to block laundryabout.com. Now let me just give you a little uh, tip about .com. They realized a lot of people were blocking them, so now they have a bunch of subdomains like that one just said laundryabout.com. It might say bikesabout.com. So if you just block about.com, which I'm going to do right now, it might still come up on a few results. So let me go there. I'm going to block it. And then we can see what we've blocked over here. Click the hand and notice I had to block laundry and about. So just blocking that wasn't enough because they got smart because a lot of people that don't uh, like those kind of results, uh, they had to change the way their URL was, which is your web address is your URL. All right. Another one people really don't care for is um, oh, ask.com. Not too crazy on that one either. So we can block that one. And then another very unpopular one is Expert Exchange. Now you may have found yourself here when you have computer issues and you know you go there and there's really no answer to your question and they say, hey, you wanna, you know, pay us? We'll pay us and we'll answer your question for you. So we're gonna block that one. Now, what if you block some sites? <coughs> Oh, look, here we've got a big Barry Schwartz on the Internet says, you know, one of the most annoying sites. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it doesn't come up as frequently as it used to because Google's really changed their, uh, their results stuff. Anyway, so let's say we want to unblock. We go over here, we click the hand, and all we have to do is just click unblock, and it's gone. So you can see it is so simple. Block with one click, unblock with one click. I really don't know an easier way. This is actually better than all the other systems I used to use where I had to copy the 
web address, drop it into somewhere on a special area and update it. So I just love this. So if you want to have happy, stress-free surfing and get rid of those sites that drive you crazy, this is what you want to do. All right. Thanks for dropping in. Happy surfing.